Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike, and um, <clears throat> I'm still going to do a short video about my thoughts on about these rate hikes, these four rate hikes that the Federal Reserve is going to be doing this year. Also, also, um, my um, my thoughts on the Great Resignation. So, um, oh, and how how it relates to tech stocks and things like that. So. Here's my thing on it. If we're going to have four rate hikes this year, then I'd be really careful about investing in tech stocks. And I say that because especially tech stocks that are just now starting out and they still have to borrow capital to keep their business running, those, those uh, stocks are probably going to suffer because of course with rate hikes, you know the increase in interest rates it makes it a lot harder for people to borrow money if you know anything about a lot of tech stocks you know they start off they, they usually start off not all that profitable but of course a lot of them get hype and you know they start to um, increase in their stock value they, they become overvalued well you know if it's hard to borrow money for these operate, you know, for these businesses, then that's less capital that they can work with, and then of course sometimes that you know that that might eat into their profits or whatever, and then of course you have the decline in the you know the stock price. So I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of wishy-washy about putting money in tech stocks this year. Now on the flip side of that. <clears throat> You know, you have, you know, natural resource stocks and, you know, um, uh, you know, consumer staples and things like that, that, you know, usually when there's an increase in interest rates and in prices and stuff like that, they usually, they usually pass it on to the consumer and uh, people pay the higher prices and, you know, it keeps their profits up or whatever. At least I think that's how it works. But then, of course, this year we have the great, what they call the great resignation or whatever, quote unquote. And I think, man, I think that's going to have, I think that's going to have a um, pretty profound effect on the prices of products come, you know, this year. Because, of course, if, if you have a lot of retail and, you know, um, certain companies, manufacturing companies, uh, service companies and things like that that can't really keep staff, then of course they're probably going to charge more for their products. And yeah, that'd be good for some companies, but you know, of course if the prices rise too much or too fast or or whatever, then people are going to naturally stop, you know, they're going to look for cheaper alternatives or maybe just save their money so you know it's I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do as far as investing to make sure I come out on top but um yeah whatever whatever you guys think about it just uh, put in your comment section if you're looking at this video I also I also read something about how um, a lot of shippers like UPS, FedEx, and things like that are probably going to increase their rates, their uh, shipping rates, because they just don't have enough staff, you know? So, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty... I really don't know where all those people are actually going to think they're going to go and find jobs, you know? If you have an increase in, you know, pricing and things like that, then pretty soon you're going to have layoffs when you think right for certain companies and that's just going to make you know the job market a lot tighter so yeah that's just pretty much my spill on it um i have some i'll have some articles that i'll put in the description you guys can uh, look at it or whatever but that's just my rant